Sabbaths blessings to you. Memelendagwe, Yaira Nami. And thank you for joining us today, the 11th day of January 2020, as we continue our journey to unearth ancient mysteries of the ancient Hebrew language, the Ave language. What does mana mean? Some speculate that mana refers to a man and let's plug it in exodus chapter 16 verse 15 in the king james version i read and when the children of israel saw it they said one to another it is a man for they wist not what it was and Moses said unto them, This is the bread which the Lord hath given you to eat. It does not click. Others speculate that manna means bread of heaven. And again, let's plug it in Exodus 16 verse 15. And when the children of Israel saw it, they said one to another, It is a bread of heaven, for they wist not what it was. And Moses said unto them, This is the bread which the Lord hath given you to eat. Again, it does not click. Still, other people speculate that mana means what is it? And let's plug it in. I read, And when the children of Israel saw it, they said one to another, It is, uh, what is it? For they wist not what it was. And Moses said unto them, This is the bread which the Lord hath given you to eat. Again, it just does not click. And notice instead that Exodus 16 verse 15 is rather uh, declarative. It is not interrogative. And when the children of Israel saw it, they said one to another, It is a manna, for they wist not what it was. And Moses said unto them, This is the bread which the Lord hath given you to eat. Exodus 16 verse 15. In other words, the people did not pose each other questions. Instead, they made a unanimous declaration. They said, it is, all right, it is. Exodus 16 verse 31 is the very proof that they had an idea what the substance was that was before them. And in Exodus 16 verse 31, we read, And the house of Israel called the name thereof manna and it was like coriander seed white and the taste of it was like wafers made with honey so what then are the people saying let's examine the letters in manna by means of the ancient hebrew revived complete chart what does mana mean? The root consonants are the ma and the na. Ma, na. Details about the ma is in number 10 of the ancient Hebrew revived complete chart. And details about uh, the na is in number 7 of the ancient Hebrew revived complete chart 
The ma means stand alone, unique, exceptional, extraordinary. And the na means an element, a thing, or a substance. So all together, the ma na means a unique, exceptional, or an extraordinary substance. The manna, according to the people, was like a combination of other notable foods. Exodus 16 verse 15. I read, And when the children of Israel saw it, they said one to another, It is a manna, meaning an extraordinary substance. For they wished not what it was. In other words, they could not make it out. And Moses said unto them, This is the bread which the Lord hath given you to eat. Similarly, Exodus 16 verse 31, I read, And the house of Israel called the name thereof, Mana, meaning extraordinary substance, and it was like coriander seed, white, and the taste of it was like wafers made with honey. So the mana was an awe inspiring substance. Mana, the ma and the na, extraordinary element. The admiration which David exhibits for what it means to be a human being in Psalm chapter 8 verses 3 through 9 is similar to that of the people vis-a-vis -vis the manna, meaning extraordinary elements. The question we are going to answer in our next presentation is, are we better than the angels? If yes, in what unique way are we better than angels? What are the letters telling us about ourselves? We have another uh, interesting revelation for you about what it means to be a human being according to the ancient Hebrew, contributed in part by Sister Abla. So we hope you will join us in our next presentation coming soon. Thank you for watching and until next time.